Six, a brand new twist in a nearly two month long controversy that's brought the future of the Fulton County's prosecution of former President Donald Trump into question. As defense attorneys continue their push to disqualify Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis and Special Prosecutor Nathan Wade from the case, today a key witness was ordered back onto the stand after the judge ruled that attorney client privilege did not prevent him from answering certain questions. 11 Alive investigative reporter Zach Merchant was inside the courtroom while it all unfolded. He's joining us now live. Zach? Well, the witness at the center of today's proceedings is Terrence Bradley. At one point, he was a law firm partner of Special Prosecutor Nathan Wade. He also, for a time, represented Wade in his divorce. Now, here's why this matters. One of the key issues in this whole controversy has turned on the beginning, the timing of when Nathan Wade and Fonnie Willis began their romantic relationship. Both Willis and Wade have testified under oath. It did not start until 2022 after Wade was appointed a special prosecutor, but the defense team asserts it actually started years earlier. And today, that defense team got to ask Terrence Bradley direct questions about the origins of this relationship. A team of defense attorneys seeking to disqualify Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis and Special Prosecutor Nathan Wade spent the better part of two hours asking Terrence Bradley when Willis and Wade's romantic relationship began. But he repeatedly testified he could not remember. I do not know when the relationship started between Mr. Wade and Ms. Willis. As the questioning dragged on, tensions occasionally flared between attorneys for the defense and the prosecution. He said he has no personal knowledge. He, he did just... not say he has no personal knowledge, Judge. He hasn't even answered it. Defense attorney Steve Sadow asked Bradley about a series of text messages he apparently sent to Ashley Merchant, who represents one of Mr. Trump's co-defendants. The defense team argued in those texts, Bradley suggested he did know when the relationship started and that it began before Wade was appointed special prosecutor. But Bradley said he was just speculating and didn't actually know when the relationship started. Why would you speculate when she was asking you a direct question about when the relationship started? I have no answer for that. Except for the fact that you do in fact know when it started and you don't want to testify to that in court. Overruled. That's the best explanation. This is a completely Overruled. That's the real, that's the true explanation, because you don't want to admit it in court, correct? No, I have no direct knowledge of when the relationship started. Despite the, at times, tough questioning, Terrence Bradley remained consistent in his assertion that he did not know when the relationship between Nathan Wade and Fonnie Willis began. Even though the proceedings inside the Fulton County Courthouse today are finished, this disqualification issue is not. Judge Scott McAfee today from the bench reminding the attorneys on both sides of this issue that they will be back here on Friday to present their closing legal arguments. 11 Alive, of course, will be here to cover it. All right, Zach, thank you so much. Well, from a legal standpoint, former DeKalb County District Attorney Robert James says today's testimony didn't do much to move the needle in his eyes. The case for disqualification depends on whether Willis financially benefited from hiring Wade. And James says the testimony didn't indicate that. He wasn't there to advance a point for the state. He was there to advance a point for the defense. And the lack of credibility doesn't necessarily advance a point. It was entertaining. It was it was you know, definitely controversial and has some issues of credibility, but I don't really know what else it did.